I now give the floor to the International Organization for the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Vice President. We would like to draw the Council's attention to the human rights impact of climate change, specifically the need for gender-sensitive responses. Women are more dependent for their livelihood on natural resources that are threatened by climate change and face an equal access to decision-making processes that address climate issues. This is in addition to being more vulnerable to discrimination due to pre-existing gender roles and patriarchal stereotypes. Intersectional forms of discrimination can also lead to gender differentiated impacts of climate change concerning health, food security and decent work. Such practice can exclude women for climate action, inhibiting the effectiveness of this action and worsening climate harms. So, how can measures to tackle climate change be effective if half the world's population has no voice or presence in discussing and developing the legal frameworks of mitigation and adaptation? Women can lead climate action and they need to be better represented in climate decision making in all respects. In conclusion, E. Ford and Geneva International Center for Justice call upon the states to strengthen gender mainstreaming and climate change response activities, focusing on sustainable and equitable development, adaptation and mitigation, with a strong commitment to empowering women to build their own resilience. Thank you. Thank you.